Welcome back. Today on Dialed in DIY, we're answering the question, what to do when your friends don't want to live life as spicy as you do? The simple answer, bring the heat anywhere and everywhere. Whether you're preparing for the big game, a tailgate party, any other kind of a party or picnic, or maybe just that bland restaurant around the corner, there's just absolutely no reason you shouldn't have the flavors that you really like. Although I do consider this a simple solution, it doesn't mean that I won't try to find a way to make it hard. In fact, I'm going to actually show you the hard way to do this with these items, but there is a much easier way that I will explain in just a little bit. The method's the same, but the materials are just a little bit different. So I am using small straws cut into small pieces to put inside a small box that I can throw inside a backpack. But if you want to make it much easier, don't use a small box. Get something a little bigger, like maybe even an Altoids tin. Step number one in this process is really pretty simple. Grab a little piece of a straw, heat it with some flame till it just starts to melt. Then take a pair of pliers and pinch it until it cools off. And you can see it perfectly seals one end of the straw. Stop sealing them at this point. Seal up the one end of a whole bunch of them. And then we'll continue with part two. So what's the easier way to do this? Get some milkshake straws. They're much bigger and they are much easier to fill with the different kinds of contents you want to take with you, especially if you've got sauces that are thicker. But for now, I'm going to stick with the smaller straws to show you that it can even be done with these and it still works just as well. It just takes a little bit longer to fill them up. The one key thing you want to make sure to do, no matter what size straw you're using, is to make sure you've allowed time for the fluid or other materials to settle to the bottom of the straw before you seal up the second side. A tip on the small straws, when I'm filling them with fluids, I squeeze the bottom first to push the air out. That way, once we get some of the fluid inside, you release the bottom and it sucks the fluid back down to the bottom. And then I continue to fill them up. The bigger straws, you don't have to do that at all. Well, if your flavoring of choice is in dry form, you can put that inside a straw too. And again, I'm gonna take the hardest approach possible and find the big chunky type that we can put inside. Crushed red pepper was about the biggest, chunkiest I could find, and it still works just fine inside a small straw. So your smaller, finer powders work very well too. Sealing up the straws with the dry content inside is the easiest by far. You can do it just the way we sealed the first end. But when you're using the sauces, the first thing you want to do is make sure to clean up the outside and just a little bit of the inside of the tube so that you can heat, melt, and seal the straw. If it stays too wet, it's not going to stick together nearly as well. Plus, you don't really want to burn the inside of any of the contents. Depending on what it is, it may not smell so good. Once you've made a bunch of the different types, different sizes, or just different ingredients, you can find something to throw them in so you can take them with you wherever you go. To use them, all you have to do is cut one of the ends off or squeeze one of the sealed ends just a little bit and it'll pop right back open. Over the years, I've used this approach for a lot of different kinds of projects, but a couple that have been a lot of fun were these reusable glow sticks that I figured out a way to make using the same method of heating and sealing ends. Thank you so much for stopping by Dialed In DIY today and checking out my video. If you end up making the project or just liked watching the video, please let me know by clicking that thumbs up. Please feel free to subscribe and check out my playlists for other options. And as always, feel free to come on back because there will be plenty more dialed in DIY to come.